Hello, and in this statistics video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate and interpret odds ratios. This is different than the things we've done before because an odds ratio isn't a significant test. It's not a way to look at whether there's a significant difference or an association between between groups, but, but rather it's a standardised way to interpret the, the, the size of, the size of an effect. There are, there are, there are several common effect effect size measures such as R square, the correlation coefficient most people will be familiar with, and um, Cohen's D. Odds ratios are for when the outcome is is categorical, and we've we've recently been doing a lot of interpretation of categorical outcomes on the channel using using the chi square test, and we're we're going to be uh, I'm going to be doing a video on something called logistic regression, and to understand that we need to understand odds ratios. So we're gonna look at we're gonna look at what they are. We're gonna look at some examples and how to interpret them. So let's go ahead. I wanted to start off with a definition. So the odds ratios are about categorical outcomes, and the 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 relative difference in the odds of the the outcome occurring in in one situation compared to another, or for one group for one group for one group of people or participants compared to another that's my operational definition so if if we look at this is the data we looked at the chi square video because we can calculate an odds ratio for a, a, a chi square test to quantify the size of our significant effect so what we're essentially looking at and the odds ratio is how many times more likely are you to get cancer if you're a smoker than if you're not a smoker or or Alternatively, how many more times more more likely are you not to get cancer if you're not a smoker versus you are? So a two by two table will always have two sets of odds, odds ratios, uh, and the best um, kind of formula and way to look at an odds ratio is for first we need to look at individual odds because to make a ratio of them we need to compare different odds. So we need to calculate one set of odds for one group and one set of odds for another group so first we're going to calculate the odds of smokers getting cancer and that's just basically the chance that they're going to get cancer so if we, look, if we look at the formula for that it's the number of times the event has occurred so in this case we're the the event that we're talking about is getting cancer so number of times that has occurred versus the number of times it has not occurred in the in the first group we're interested in, so for for, for smokers, uh, uh, the number of cases of cancer was 17, and the number of smokers who didn't get a cancer was seven. So the the odds is 2.428. Uh, um, uh, and because again it's a ratio, we need to calculate what it is for non-smokers. So there were 10 non-smokers who didn't get cancer and 16 people who didn't so looks like looks like the the, the odds of the odds of um, non-smokers getting cancer are significantly lower than the odds of smokers getting cancer but we can look at that as a ratio and the odds ratio is the the, the outcome of interest the odds of the outcome of interest div divided by the baseline situation so Remember, I said there's two sets of odds ratios. You've got to, you've got to be careful for interpretation in in terms of the, the the odds of what relative to what. So in this case, we're gonna, we're going to look at the the odds of um how, how many times bigger the odds of uh, getting cancer are if you're a smoker versus if you're not. But if we did it the other, the other way around, uh, the, the odds of not getting cancer if, if you not a smoke versus if you are the odds will be different so uh, um but in this in this case for sm smokers versus non smokers in, in terms of likelihood of getting cancer we get an odds ratio of 3.885 and w what that means is the the odds of smokers getting cancer are are 3.885 times bigger than than um the the odds the odds of them not getting cancer, um. So 
So that's the interpretation of that. We can we can turn that round though and say instead of looking at the odds of smokers getting cancer versus not getting cancer, we can. Uh, um, remember I said, said if you have four um, four categories, there's 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 two, two sets of odds ratios because we can separately look at okay if if the if the outcome we're interested in is not getting cancer what what how much how much less likely are smokers not to get cancer there than than non smokers so if we um look look at that we can can say write it out there or the odds of not getting cancer for smokers relative to non non smokers so if we cal- calculate our individual odds for the, the 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 number of smokers who didn't get cancer for, was seven and the number it did was seventeen so our odds for that one are point four one two and if we also calculate the odds of non smokers not having cancer that's one point six so if we apply the same equation for the odds ratio and in this case the we're we're interested in the odds of smokers not getting answers so put that as first so the the odds of the odds of smokers not getting cancer uh, is 0.257 times the odds of smokers getting cancer so because because we multiply it one times one times the odds of something would be the number because it's less than one it means the odds are less than um, the the about about point only point two times the size of smokers getting cancer. So with with, with the odds ratio, you have got to be careful about which kind of way round you're interpreting it. So there are, there are always two sets of odds ratios to get from um or the other way we could calculate that is the the, the odds of being as sm- the, the, look at people who've got cancer and com- compare the number that are smokers versus the number that are non-smokers but that, that, that will give us the same result as the first outcome remember there are always two odds ratios and the quick way to get from one to the other is to do the reciprocal so if we did one divided by 3.885 which is the, f- the first odds ratio we calculated the the relative increase in in the odds of smokers getting can, can uh, getting cancer if you're a smoker versus if you're not the, that increase was 3.885 our first odds ratio and if we uh, divide one by that we get the, we get the second odds ratio so you, you can always get the second one by by doing one over the first one um um so that was a that was a simple introduction to cal- calculating and interpreting odds ratios for c- categorical data. When you interpret odds ratios, you've got to be, you've got to really be careful about what's what's relative to what, and sort of explain that very carefully because obviously this number is different and has a different interpretation depending on um which 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 way around you've calculated it when you when you calculate a current D for example for the effect size for the difference between two means it's the same number no matter how, how you calculate it so it doesn't matter how you specify it but for odds ratios it really does matter and it can get a bit confusing so hope hope that hope that makes sense and thank you for watching this video bye bye